Hi everyone, this is your girl with Shanidra with Let's Dig Deep, Getting to the Root of Things. I watched a video of Ayana Fix My Life and I'm just gonna show you guys a clip and then we're gonna discuss what we just watched. And I'm gonna tell you a little bit of what I think on Let's Dig Deep. One second. My right, name listen. is Christy Winborn. I was hoping that Ayana could add a little balance to my life. My kids, in their minds, they're adults, but they don't behave like adults. I'm not going to cater to you. It's just clashing. It's taking a toll on our marriage. A lot of things that we try to do as a couple, we can't do. We stress more and more every day. There's tension and then it's like chaos. This ain't going on in my house. Her husband is a... This Two is years not older a story than about chaos, years. even though chaos is undoubtedly present. This is not a story about a life that has become unmanageable. This is a story about a mother who abandoned her children without explanation. My sisters, 18 and 20, they're both on their second children, so they didn't get the guidance that they may have needed. My youngest brother is reckless. Is this in your future? Possibly. Could jeopardize his life, his well-being, or his freedom. You got your beginning, Christian, and your baby, Christopher. That means the problem runs through the whole line. This story is book, chapter, and verse of this theory. So guys, as you've seen, she is talking. To, she's going to talk to these guys and talk to them about the problems in their life. The mother thinks it's chaos in her house, but she doesn't realize that she is part of the chaos that is in her house. So what most of us fail to realize is that we're not getting, we're, we never get to the root of things. We always just want to brush over it, keep secrets and touch the surface. And we get pushed into adulthood, parenthood, way before our time. And as this mother, she um, was in an abusive relationship and she ran away. Her kids witnessed it. Um, her young, she got beat by her youngest son's father. And now her son has grew up watching that. And now she doesn't understand why he is going on the path that he is on. And she feels that he is going to lead it's going to lead him into you know jail which is what his father was in and out of and what i think we as parents we as people need to realize is that kids don't what uh, listen to they don't follow what we tell them to do they follow our actions what we do what they see us do our actions is their example. He faced abandonment. So did the mother. The mother was abandoned. She is fighting abandonment. She was touched. I mean, it gets deeper and deeper, but never nobody ever gets this deep because everybody is concerned about what the other person is going to say or how they're going to feel. So nobody ever addresses these type of issues because of what they think the other person may say or think. And in the book of Jonah, Jonah had a task to do for God, from God. And God told him to go to the people of Nineveh and tell them that I see their, or their wicked way. Well, Jonah tried to go the opposite way because he was scared to go there because he didn't know how the people... Uh, that he lived with was going to react of him um, helping the, 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 the his people's enemies. But you can't do that. If God tells you to address these issues, that's what needs to be addressed. That's how generational curses continue because nobody ever addresses the issues. There's always all these family secrets nobody wants to talk about. They want to put out this perfect image, but really, there's something there. It, it goes down the line. 
and the seeds are just the result of the family tree. So it's important that we touch these sensitive, scary issues because that will stop the generational curses from, you know, the next generation repeating the mistakes that the parents made or the grandparents made. It goes down and down and down because nobody addresses it. Nobody wants to talk about it. These kids were scared to talk to their mother or really express their feelings to their mother because they knew that their mother was beat and that she abandoned them because she was beat. But then they were still hurt. They never addressed their hurt. And the mother never told anyone about her being sexually abused. So there's so much scars going on that nobody ever talks about. Nobody ever wants to get deep. Nobody ever wants to have these type of conversations, but these are the very conversations that need to be had. So as the new year comes in, um, we will be digging deep, um, deeper than before because it starts now. We want change, we have to be the change through our actions. Thanks again, guys. This is very short because this is just the intro.